Let me just say, I know I'm a gaming channel, but some things sometimes in the real world just don't seem right. Whether that be government or just plain things that just don't seem right that you see, this right here happens to be one of the things that just don't seem right. Now I know it brings everybody to the table to want to watch because it's entertaining. And boxing itself is entertaining. But this fight between a 27-year-old man and a 58-year-old man just doesn't rub me right. Actually, no, he's 27. There we go. Jake Paul, in my opinion, has been such a, well, not a very good person in the light of recent years when he was a YouTuber. He staged a couple things, and well, one of the things that he staged probably wasn't all that great in the eyes of YouTube. Although I never really followed the guy for none of his fights, because in my opinion, he just doesn't really seem interesting, and the fact that he used his fame more or less to be a fighter just really doesn't sit right anyway, not in my opinion. But after all, it's kind of cool to see a guy that goes against a guy like Mike Tyson because, well, we're all curious and just kind of want to see what the fight was going to be about. So, yeah. Still, after all, you fighting an old man, well, that doesn't always sit right either. But out of sheer curiosity, I'm pretty sure all of us have been wondering who would win. Not very many times do you think in your mind, well, is this going to be staged? Is this going to be good? Is this going to be bad? You don't really think stuff like that, but it overall kind of leans that way. And before I continue, guys, don't forget, you could join my Discord just to hear the chat. You can hit that like button because that very much goes further than the sub. And if you're really feeling ballsy, hit that sub button because after all, I'm a gaming channel, but sometimes I make videos like this. Now, let me talk about the rules and regulations. If you do a simple Google search, they come up and they're pretty simple. So according to the official agreement between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, knockouts are definitely allowed. There are no clauses preventing Mike Tyson from knocking out Paul, which that's all we expected. That's mainly what we expected. The fight's considered a sanctioned professional boxing match with the standard knockout rule, meaning Tyson could absolutely just try to knock him out. And again, that's what we expected. There was only eight rounds of two minutes each, and they had some gloves that were a 14 ounce, which potentially were larger gloves to minimize the impact of punches. They're a bit more heavier, and uh, they're heavier than the standard gloves that they usually use. There was no official information about the exact payouts, but yeah, more on that in a minute. Obviously, with the two fighting, you already know that Jake Paul stands out to gain a lot more than what Tyson would. And since we already know the outcome, we already know that we're just really disappointed at this point in time. I don't know about you guys. Some of you guys rooted for Jake Paul, but I was actually rooting for Iron Mike Tyson. So one of the things that I seen in a video, again, this is unofficial, was Tyson had somewhere to earn about 20 million. And I believe Jake Paul had to earn about, I believe, 70 to 80. With that said, Mike Tyson unfortunately had to go all eight rounds in order to earn that money. Which, if you think about the way everything was set up, it kind of seems like that. So when the fight started and you start to see things, I noticed Mike Tyson was biting his glove for some reason. And if any of you guys understand anything, it kind of looked like he was holding back. Now, is he fighting like a 58-year-old man? I'm assuming because he's 58, he's not going to move as fast and he's pretty, pretty slow. But that's just coming with age. At that age, it's a little bit harder. Plus, his knee was sort of jacked up or something was wrong with it. But you could tell a lot of times when he had a chance to hit Jake Paul, he just seemed like he was holding back. And at that point, a lot of people seemed to notice, well, this doesn't seem like Mike Tyson. If you've seen the videos, which I'm going to show you here in a second, you've seen all the videos where he was pretty much looking like, well, not like a 58-year-old man. I'm not sure what happened between the videos and the fight, but something, something, along the lines, something happened. And to better validate things, I went and researched, and I actually found something. So unofficially, I guess there's a clause in the contract, something that normally, like us, us people, we don't actually see. But somebody by the name of Carl Fra. I believe I'm saying his name, maybe I'm saying it wrong, but this man claims that in the clause of Mike Tyson's contract, he can't actually knock out Jake Paul, which, well, if you watch the match, that's what it looked like. Him biting his glove, him holding back, him getting areas where he could have at least hit him, times when he could have took a punch and didn't, and just mainly only took, what, 97 punches? Jake Paul had like about 279, something just doesn't seem right. So this guy Carl said that he believes it wasn't even fight. This is something that he heard and something that he put out there, but again, it's just his word. I've also heard that this man really doesn't have a track record. Well, it's not that great. So take all this with a grain of salt. But when you actually watch with your own two eyeballs, or in my case, one eyeball, you can clearly see that Mike Tyson wasn't normally playing like he should be playing. 
The way he acts, the way he was, even the way he was up leading up to it just didn't seem like him. Now, I get there's a lot of people that probably have never seen Mike Tyson and just knows who Jake Paul is, and then they probably won't know. But for us people who actually know how Mike Tyson fights, how really dangerous this man could be, heck, this man could bite your ear off or more or less your whole head off. With that kind of attitude that he takes his fights very, very, very serious, and to see him fight like this, it's night and day difference. And I'm not just talking about his 58-year-old freaking age. We're just talking about him as a person. So take it with a grain of salt. In my personal opinion, I believe the fight was thrown, but what can I prove? I really, I'm just like you guys. I just hear things or I see things or I read things. And that's kind of the extent of it. So if you like what you hear, hey, please hit the like button. If you don't, hey, hit the dislike button, whatever counts. Give your comments down below of what you guys think about the fight. Do you believe it was also thrown? Because I do. And with that being said, hey, hit the sub, hit the like, and I'm out, guys.